Tsui Zi-in has a specialist job in the construction industry, installing fire safety equipment. At 65 years old, you might expect him to be thinking about retirement, but he isn't even considering it. <laughs> Construction is booming in Hong Kong. Wherever you look around the territory, there are construction sites, diggers and cranes, whether it's on big infrastructure projects like here at the high-speed rail extension in West Kowloon, or putting up yet another high-rise tower. But while the number of projects is high, there is a severe shortage in the number of workers. In particular, I think there's shortage. I think what is really uh, focused on some sort of key, key trades, I think, for the industry, like the carpenter, and a steel fixes, and the sort of percentage outstanding could reach 20, 25 percent. I think this is really very, very serious. Not only is there a shortfall in the number of skilled workers, but most of them with the right level of skill and experience are, like Mr Tsui, at or close to retirement age. This has happened in large part because of poor foresight and a lack of investment in the decade after the handover of Hong Kong back to China. Uh, after the completions of the airport projects back in 1997, uh, then there has been a continued uh, reduction in workload within the construction industry. For that reason, a lot of people actually uh, left the industry and then no one ever, ever wanted to join in because uh, over a 10-year period they were uh, reducing workload, people not getting uh, reasonable, decent payment, etc, etc. So with a shortage of skilled workers and an ageing workforce, is there anything that can be done? We are, at the moment, have a system called the Supplementary Labour Scheme and uh, everyone is hanging their hats on it at the moment. But, of course, as you all know, that the unions are against it. We are Together with the contractors, the government has spent hundreds of millions of Hong Kong dollars on training programs for young people. The Construction Industry Council has been charged with training up the estimated 15,000 new workers the industry needs at sites like this one in Kwantong. Wong Tsigin spent 15 years toiling in customer services and tourism jobs and says that the prospect of earning $2,000 a day is what attracted him to retrain as a timber form worker. I hope but while some people like Mr Wong have seen an opportunity, for many of Hong Kong's youth, the potentially high wages are outweighed by the danger, discomfort and poor reputation of the industry. With big construction projects like the bridge connecting Hong Kong to Macau and Zhuhai, and the high-speed rail link to China here in West Kowloon, and the extensions to the MTR system, all due to be completed in the next few years, as well as the government's targets to build 480,000 new homes in the next decade, Demand for construction workers isn't going away. But right now, no one in the industry seems to have an answer for where they're going to find them. Tom Griggs, Financial Times, Hong Kong.